Kim, what do you think is the biggest mistake women make in the workplace, and what's the single biggest thing they could do to change it? Can I do two? <laughs> what? Can I say two? Yeah. Okay, so well, I don't know if it's the single biggest, but I think one of the biggest issues is not being able to ask for things, and, and we talk about that in the book. For me, the concept of being comfortable with the word no is really important, because if you can't hear no, if you're afraid of getting rejected, you never really ask for what you really want. And so I think we as women tend to have been trained to think about you know, being geared towards perfection, being perfect at this and perfect at that and not taking risks because we don't want to fail. And there's this great concept in the book of we always celebrate success, but we don't celebrate failure. So uh, the woman who started Girls Who Code had this great idea of throwing failure parties. And I think it's a great idea. You know, we should just celebrate failure because you can't succeed unless you're willing to fail. And those tech guys, startups, they all know, you know, first to market is the, you know, as minimum viable product. Where do you think you failed? Where have you failed? Oh, well, that, can, that could be a whole conversation. <laughs> um, let me just tell you my second, my second point. Okay. So my second point for women in the workplace, though, is absolutely get out of your cubicle. Because I think what happens is we get very siloed. Because you know what? There's a lot of work to be done, actually. And we're busy, right? So we go to work. We want to do a great job. We're doing a great job. But we get very siloed, and we get very focused on our task. And what I noticed in my career was that the guys were sort of hanging out at the golf course, you know, like doing other things. Now, I don't really want to play golf. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm sure there are some great golfers in this room. But I think that women want to combine work and they want to combine doing well in the world. So doing well and doing good. And so this idea that we can do both, for me, was sort of the impetus of the book, which I see women leaders all over the world partnering around creating social change. And in the process, though, they're networking, they're building each other's professional careers. You know, they're really sort of, uh, it's a, sort of a new golf, I like to call it, the new golf, you know, mm -hmm. doing well and doing good. And I think women have to get out of their cubicles and they have to move beyond the immediate to see that it's really important to meet other people. It's really important to make those connections.